Greetings and welcome back to Ghost Hunters Core. So I want to try out the paranormal investigation this time and see how it turns out. Uh, I'd like to get farther into the house. Last time I was still kind of trapped in the doorway because of the, the demon and because I was a little bit uh, leery about venturing in. Um, but yeah, in the paranormal difficulty you have three to five pieces of evidence which means you can potentially have every piece of evidence uh, type. So we're going to hop in here and uh, check out the lost house on Paranormal. Hopefully we won't get another really aggressive demon so I can actually push into the house and check things out. But we're going to start out with our guard items at the entrance just to uh, have a safe zone while we're setting up until we figure out what uh, it is that repels whatever entity we're dealing with. Too far out in. Come here, give me that. I want that there. Right up against the Mary. All right, so let's get us a camera in here and our sensor. And we need to stop sprinting so much because I might need the endurance later. We'll start by looking at this room. Yeah, I should stop sprinting so much. Alright, nothing in that room right now. Let's bring in the EMF reader, because it is now useful against all ghost types. Uh, it'll register at least a 2 when it's nearby, even if it's not an evidence level EMF ghost. And let's check out this room. Stop sprinting. We can do this in a nice calm manner. I mean, we're not really going to lose anything if we die um, until we start bringing our own equipment in. All right, this room looks clear. So let's get the photo camera and I guess the occult detector. The mill. Did I just... Oh, that was my flashlight flashing. Oh, there you are. downstairs I'm a little leery of going in until I've identified at least the basics of what it is that I'm dealing with. It's been here enough to give me 24 percent. I don't believe it's a shadow. Not a revenant. I would like to get an idea of what I'm dealing with, please. Fifty 
54. So I know what it is that's repelling it. I think we have another demon, possibly, but it could be a poltergeist. Alright, let's leave this. not getting any readings but I'm not sure where it is right now let's go get the uh, last piece of evidence gathering items um, that would be the uh, spirit box and let's also go ahead and spawn a flat a um, thermometer and an occult sniffer And the exorcism. Well, well, no, we'll wait to see if we need that. Uh, yeah, we'll just hold off on anything else until we're, we have an idea of what it is. Spirit, can you speak? Spirit, can you speak? Spirit, can you speak? Can you write in the book for me? Spirit, write in the book. So we have It is a shadow. It is a shadow. And I thought I had a temperature reading for a second there, but then I lost it. Did it blow the light? I N L or one N L one twenty. Let's go ahead and take this back in so it's not in our way. Um, but it is a shadow, and I believe shadows are repelled by crucifixes. I might be mistaken, and it might be the Mary. I've got to double check that. Um, see no it's revenant that's re it is the mary it's revenant that is repelled by a crucifix let's get a couple more marys all right so we have a shadow um emf three to four entity scan one nl 120 and audio proof right now is spirit box radio but we haven't confirmed the temperature and haven't gotten written evidence yet. But right now, salt, tiger's eye, we have to find a cursed object and flash it with a camera. So we have information that will help us push into the house finally. Um, but we need to find a cursed object. So I brought a couple more of these. Put one right here. Let's 
Let's move this camera. There. Thought I brought two of those in. I guess not. I guess I only brought one extra. That's also a voice in the house sound, I think. going to need to get our occult sniffer because we do have to find a cursed object. Bring it in. See, we filmed it next to a camera. We did get an occult temperature above 10 with it. Um, so yeah, we just need to, to bring the thermometer in to measure a temperature of error. I want to take with me. Let me go get another Mary just to be able to uh, keep it at bay if I need to. And the thermometer. So we can get our temperature of error and a more accurate reading of the temperature right now. pretty bad when the knives are the occult item. This is the cursed object we need to destroy. So we can take our occult sniffer back into the truck with this. Still haven't gotten our temperature reading. Where did the uh, cult object I just brought in disappear to when I came upstairs? Where did it get heated? All right, let's go looking for it. All right, uh, close that back. Let's see, Tiger's Eye was going to be effective against it. What else? Uh, instant camera. So we still need to get the temperature reading of error for the optionals. But let's go ahead and get some Tiger's Eye in place. Right here in the door. The signal detector will still let me know when it's nearby, so I can leave that in here for now. Um, oh, I missed the opportunity to get the temperature reading. Where did it go? Where did it disappear to? I want to get the temperature reading so I can put my thermometer up, people. Wow. 
Why did I not get the error reading? Turning on lights will annoy it. Yeah, as you see, it's starting to throw things. But I'd like to get the temperature reading. was down here. Now I'm not sure where it is. Well, it wouldn't have been freaky if I'd turned around and been outside the house right behind me staring at me. You are staying near me right now. Where? Why am I not getting the error reading? I'm not getting any temperature whatsoever. So I'm going to give up on getting the error reading right now. Um, and let's say that this is all we have. So I need salt. I need the neutrino gun and the instant camera. So let's leave this in here. Get our instant camera and get our, no our salt and go ahead and start this exorcism, the final step we can do in the van. Spirit, show yourself. That is so creepy. I love that. Spirit, show yourself. hear the sounds of doors opening and closing when no door is opening and closing? Spirit, come to me. I never even went up to the second floor. Spirit, show yourself. Well, I can... Let's see, let's put the salt right at the bottom of the stairs. Let's grab this Mary and push upstairs. All right, where's the light switch? See if we can't look for a little bit of wall writing. Where's the light switch for this? Salt got it. All right, let's get that tiger's eye and put it in place of the salt. Um, I know the instant camera will continue to work on it, so I'm going to keep the instant camera with me. Let's see, what did I need to do other than that? Oh, yes, uh, let's go ahead and blast this cursed object. Now let's open that up and get our cursed object out of the way. And I'm beginning to think maybe it's the crucifix that, that was keeping it at bay because it seemed like that Mary did nothing. Come on, close it. There, that's what you do with the occult items. You stash them in there. Uh, let's go ahead and get a crucifix just in case. I've got to go back and check and see which uh, 
Yeah, it hasn't hit the tiger's eye yet, and if it, that doesn't dispel it, I know holy water is the other step. Actually, let's just hold the tiger's eye. Spirit, show yourself. Spirit, show me. Okay, it is tossing things around. It is not happy. Spirit, show yourself. Spirit, show me. One of these times it would be really creepy to turn around and see it standing outside the house. That it had gone out the back and gone around because it couldn't get around these guard items. That would be a really nice touch. Um, spirit, show yourself. Spirit, come to me. I have come to exercise you. Show yourself. Show me. It's not near us right now. I don't know where it went. All right. Currently upstairs. Let's put that right at the base of the stairs, because it's got to come down the stairs eventually. Um, what else can I be doing? Let's see. I could go get the occult sniffer and see if I can't find any more occult items. This room was clean, and I had only started to check that other room and found the knives. I haven't checked this room. Actually, I do have the mail still in here. No, I took the mail back out to the truck. Well, let's go back out to the truck and get the mail. I mean, it's not as accurate as the... Uh, um, a cult sniffer for being able to track things down, but you do get readings. move this crucifix. Well, I gotta drop something first. Let's put this crucifix here. And I have to uh, go back and figure out which repels which. Uh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted the camera. Oh, let me check my photos while I'm standing here waiting for it to wander this way. Nope, neither was a ghost photo. Even though the ghost is right there. That was not the final step, I don't believe. So there is writing somewhere. Alright, we have to find writing. And we can actually do that after we experiment with holy water.
so I don't recall seeing any writing downstairs. I, ha I haven't really done a thorough look, though. I don't know if there's ever actually writing in this on this wall. Oh, it's near. Yeah, I mainly got the camera with me as a detector when it's near me because it'll start getting distorted. I'm still unsure if it's the cross or the uh, Mary repelling it. Um, let's see. I've got the holy water with me. Let me uh, do this. It's upstairs. The, that's a good thing. And the two things that will detect it away from each other. Where are you? It's on the ceiling so I can't um, throw holy water at its feet. eerie when you know it's nearby but you don't know where. It moved away before I got switched over to the holy water. It's being repelled by I think the cross because it went right past that Mary. So it's trying to find a way to me. It's upstairs right now. It's coming around this way. I need to try and get holy water at its feet, but it's not staying manifested long enough for me to think I'm going to be accurate. I'm keeping the door open, thank you. So yeah, the Marys are not being effective right now. It's the cross it's trying to find a way around. I missed it. Alright, so I've got one more shot to try and exercise it. Oh, well, no, no, I've got more holy water. That's right, I bought extra. So I got one more free shot. I'm pretty sure it's the cross repelling it. Where'd you go? Show me your feet. Yeah, this is the hard part, is trying to get accurate when it won't stay manifested long enough. I see you. Get on the floor, you moron. I 
just saw a ghost orb up here. Show yourself. I saw a ghost orb. Is that it or is this this is the room? And there is no pentacle. So That is the haunting room. I do need to hit this at its feet. see any wall writing. Uh-huh, you're in this room. You know, I want you to show yourself, you little putts. That worked. Oh. Oh, he got me! And I lost quite a few crucifixes there. Uh, I missed its feet. Uh, I think I get nothing for that, um, and as a matter of fact, I will lose everything I had inside, which was uh, a couple of extra Marys and a couple extra crucifixes. I did find three of the four evidence. It was a shadow. Um, I did get some experience, so let's look at my market uh, and see what all I'm missing. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I still have my thermometer and my occult sniffer. Um, I had never bought a spirit book. Didn't take any of those in, so I lost two Marys and one crucifix. That's all I lost. But I didn't gain any money off of that, unfortunately. But yeah, I still am not sure uh, which one the crucifix and the uh, Mary are effective against, because it's been a while since I played. I've got a rewatch Dusk's video where he goes into detail on them um, to refresh my memory. But I'm getting closer to getting the shotgun. If I'd had the shotgun, that would have been a means to save myself carrying it. But I do believe there was symbol drawing somewhere in the house or a, a wall drawing somewhere in the house. And uh, I did need to hit it with the holy water, but that is a very difficult aim for me when it's flashing in and out of existence. And I just wasn't quick enough, and it got angered enough, it pushed right past whatever guard items there were to uh, kill me. But thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time.